All right, that's uh, the end of the uh, experience here on uh, 91.1 WZBT Gettysburg. We have an exciting night here for the uh, pregame. I think they're being like simulcast, uh, I don't know, something I crazy. I don't quite know what that means, Ian. Oh, Ian, you are correct, my friend. We are live. Um, YouTube, Gberg TV, and WZBT have, have ended their, uh, their war against each other. Now we are combining. We are live streaming on YouTube. This is awesome. Um... <laughs> Welcome to the pregame. Your night starts now. Throw your hands up and throw your drink down. Open up another bottle, we go pour another round. We got to get rowdy, it's gonna get loud. Welcome to the pregame, the night start now. Throw your hands up and throw your drink down. Open up another bottle, we go pour another round. We got to get rowdy, it's gonna get loud. Welcome to the pregame, the night start now. Let's get ready to rumble, get a poppin' like a bubble. And we are back. Thank you, Dan, for the professionalism. You were on air. Thank you. Welcome to the pregame. Your night has already started about Woo! 27 seconds ago with that song. God, I love Ramsway. He's a man. He's a man. How do you know him again? Remind the viewers that this is a, a yeah. special song. This is a 21-year-old. Uh, I worked with him at LMB Network. He can drink. Um, okay. So, yeah, he's throwing those drinks down. Unlike Rebecca Black, he brings some kind of authenticity to that party song. She's like 16, and she's going out and getting... Singing about Black Hat. <laughs> she's Rebecca Black. I don't know about you, but I was 16, and I was doing that. No, I wasn't. Oh, God. I'm, my mom, I love you. She might be listening. Or watching! How exciting is this, guys? We got a little stream up there. No, I don't think she's watching. Mrs. Tower, if you're watching, you might want to close your eyes and you don't want to look at Brandon. Brandon's the only one of us who decided to dress up. I, you know, Dan and I thought this was radio. This is a big night for me. They come in, we're on TV. Oh, what TV? You ever notice, like, Mike and Mike, they don't dress up. They do. I mean, they're, they're not in Wait, t-shirts. Yeah. The, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Sometimes they're, they're not wearing things. suits. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Boys, nice weather today. Dude, God, I loved it. Unbelievable. I'm this wearing, kid was in flip flops. I'm wearing flip flops right now. Yeah, he's walking through the snow puddles. <laughs> yeah, literally, there's snow on the well, ground. It was partially because. Get out your boogie board, buddy, and start <laughs> going crazy out of the library. <laughs> Kelly Slater. Well, right I, you know, I only had to walk like, you know, 100 yards to get here from the Okay, dorm. so it was two feet, then it's 100 yards, okay, Dan? Okay, okay. Grow up. Yeah, get a, get get a, a map spot on that right? one. It's, a, a, hyper, it's a hyperball, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I saw the Lego movie last night. Surprisingly, very good. Dude, they got a lot of people, like a lot, big, oh, big cast. Yeah, was in, I'm pretty sure the guy from Always Sunny was in there. Wow, some squeak. Yeah, he was the like Stink's voice guy. Yeah, the guy that talks like this. <laughs> no, that's you, Dan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I heard that the premise of the movie movies? was really like um, how c- children have no creativity anymore. Is that true? Uh, we'll talk about the movie to some bit. extent. Were you I watching don't the movie, or you, were you and Tana just? Were you making out during Schindler's List? God, I wish. <laughs> 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 well, we've all been there. Gosh. Just joking. That's not funny. Uh, That's not funny. No, we're, we're we're getting recorded now. We gotta be careful what we say. It's a Seinfeld joke, my man. Oh, it is. Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta watch this. Dan has watched the first six seasons on DVD. Oh, That's all we did. The first it. two weeks of freshman year, he had no friends. His uh, friend was just dip spitting into a bottle, and oh, he's over there on the other side of the couch in the bunk bed, and. Watching, watching Seinfeld. Watching Seinfeld with my hand in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, this guy. Gberg TV is going to regret this decision. <laughs> oh, right. absolutely. They're so yeah, nice. Hand we hand had this whole, like, thing. <laughs> Who's going to get more likes between WZBT and Gberg TV? You know, we're going to put that behind us temporarily, and Are we're we? going to work together. Really? I like it. I like this. Okay. This is the nation. Obama should be looking at us. Obama? Right. Speaking of politics. I don't know we got a little Bill Bill Blasio spot- spotting today, Daniel. Uh, this one's coming from Brandon, not me. Apparently, a Mr. Bill de Blasio right. of New York. New York City mayor. mayor. Of New York. Yeah. More important than the New York governor was here on campus today. Yeah, I guess his son was touring around. Dante. Big old afro. Right. It's cool. I didn't see the afro, but I saw a picture of it. How do you feel about de Blasio on campus, Dan? Uh, I like that the school didn't like announce it. I mean, I don't think they would with with a prospective student like that. I mean, earlier in the in the fall, Steven Spielberg was here with his daughter, um, and she was doing a tour of campus. They didn't even give us time for Steven Spielberg's speech to go to it. So yeah, yeah they're not gonna let us know. And but I don't know. I feel like 
Like, why does he have to go with his son on, I don't on get these it. trips? Like, it's why can't his mom go? He's the mayor of New York. He should be in New York, not Gettysburg. Like if Barack Obama went on a college visit with one of his Sasha daughters, Malia, I just, would I would be ridiculous. But it's one of those things like, no, 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 we, we're normal. And you saw this, Dan, online the other day. Oh, yeah, Sasha and Malia, Michelle Obama said on Jimmy Fallon, they're normal, they're normal kids. They're, they're not. not. They're not normal kids. Okay, but they're extremely extent- privileged in a different they are, they are the most privileged children in America. Okay, but how many pe- that's a whole different story. How many people do you think actually knew? If you would like show a picture of build a black That doesn't kid, matter. I don't, I don't care about that. As someone who, you know, like respects the New York City politics, you'd yeah. have to think that the mayor would not be taking random weekend trips to Gettysburg and instead is going to be He's working work 7 days a week? I hope so. Really? Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah. What, what? why would the mayor of New York City I just get said really again. weekends off? Really? Really? Uh, no, apparently, I don't know. yeah. I just, I mean, if it's just a day trip, I don't know. That's fine. But I he's, just, he's still a dad. The mayor is he's not a nine a to five job, Brandon. Okay, it's not a nine to five job, but I think it's Monday through Friday. And Here, here's extent. something I'll say. I don't know. Like he's still a dad. If, if little old Dante comes without his dad, okay. <laughs> no, say that more if, to if, me. Now. If Dante comes with with another member of his family, like his mom or not his dad, no one stops him in the library and tries to take a picture with him. He comes with his dad. He gets all this speculation in the library. People are, well, not wrong word, but hey, people are. Loving it. People want to take pictures with him. Someone took a picture in the library with him. Like, right. I just, I don't understand. It brings unwanted, well, it should be unwanted press. And I, I just feel I'm like it's... be straight with you. I'd far rather take know. a picture with that afro than with Bill de Blasio. It's more iconic, absolutely. It's more recognizable. If you just see Bill de Blasio walking through, you a lot of people, it. I think, in the state of Pennsylvania may not have heard of him. Yeah, what made true. de Blasio, like, you know, the national spectacle that he was, besides it being New York City, being a beacon, you know, for the yeah. entire world, was, like, his family. I'm going to be honest, though. Like, I only saw one picture online. I bet you most people today on campus had no idea. Like, that's they fine. Like, I don't yeah, really care. I'm, I don't have a problem with him touring campus. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, Gettysburg, yeah, it's their right not to announce who they're giving a tour to. I don't mind that. I just think, you know, Bill de Blasio's got to have something better to do than tour Gettysburg, Gettysburg College. Yeah. If Dante goes to Gettysburg College after this de Blasio Tale of Two Cities campaign, <laughs> we got something going to him. Well, you said you think, you think that if he is the mayor of New York, that his son should go to college in New York. I didn't say that, actually. Well, yeah, did you hear me say that? No, you allude, I did not you hear you say that. that. Oh, yeah. Brandon, that's quite an accusation. Yeah. Oh, uh, you said you should, you're I going to a private that. school in Pennsylvania. You said that earlier. I, well, I think it, it's weird. Okay. But, he, I mean, Dante's allowed to go wherever he wants. I just don't think that I mean, the Blasio <laughs> should be spending time in Pennsylvania right now. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Fair enough. I mean, being a... Being is he going to meet with Mayor Troxel? Or are they uh, <laughs> organizing a nice bipartisan agreement? If you said He's the word... over the key. You, if you said the words Bill de Blasio to Mayor Troxel, he would, he would say, who? <laughs> is that the barber down the street? Yeah. Other exciting uh, stuff that's going on. Space yeah. Jam 2 uh, featuring LeBron James. That is, is in bull crap. Plan- planning has started no by Warner Brothers. Yes. That yes. is ridiculous. You're lying. No, it's, this is serious. King, you got to wake up. King James himself. I can't look at the camera, but I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. Yeah, amazing. It's a camera, Brandon. <laughs> I know. It's really bothering me to not be able to look at it. All right. Back to Space Jam 2, though. Okay. Feelings about LeBron James. This is just him again, I feel, you know, trying to be Michael Jordan, and yet he's not. Well, I'd rather it was Kobe because, like Michael Jordan, Kobe cheated on his wife. But it's just wow. Okay, oh, okay. I don't know well, why you went his, there. That was his thing, Brandon. I don't <laughs> understand why you gotta why you gotta stop that. I don't care. I, I mean, LeBron. I don't know. Really. I think that Space Jam Two would be ridiculous. I think the first one was great and hilarious, and I just think it's awesome. I don't, know, I don't know. I, I just think it's unnecessary for LeBron. Like, why does he have to claim that he's going to be on the Mount Rushmore of the NBA or claim that he's the greatest player alive? Like, just let it. Let the critics speak. Let everyone. Right, but I know. think initially, like LeBron, obviously he's changed his number since, but he went with the twenty-three. Like his entire goal was to be Michael Jordan. You know, there's one thing though that you know he can do the Space Jam thing. He can continue to continue to do whatever. One thing he's not doing that Jordan did was appear in the dunk contest. And I know people get a little, you know. Yeah, about contest? that, but LeBron yeah. has refused to compete in something the fans love and that Jordan dominated. Why? Yeah, and he is he, says he doesn't need to give a reason. I don't know why. Why do I you think? think he's scared? I don't know. I will just say that CBS Sports is reporting that Space Jam Two is not actually in the works, according to LeBron James's people. Right. Um, Sports Illustrated reported that it was. So I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't know. Something to talk about. Exactly. Would you want? I mean, who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I think he's he's just trying too hard to be like Michael Jordan. I'm not sure. I think I'm trying to be like Michael Jordan. Who would be better, you think? Say there was a Space Jam 2. Say LeBron James has randomly like not associated with it. Who Would it have to be basketball in your mind, a Space Jam 2? Yeah. 
Because it poses the word jam, but imagine it was, you know, like a similar Disney or, you know, cartoon movie. Yeah. Like a football movie or something? Yeah, football or baseball. I don't know. I don't Who know. would be a good person? Peyton Manning. Uh, I was about to say, I don't think either of the Mannings would, would be very good. Although it would be funny because it would be, be like awkward funny. Peyton Manning's funny. Tom Brady would do it, but he just he he would have to wear Uggs the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, and it'd probably be too hard to uh, throw the ball at those three Super Bowl rings, right, Dan? Oh, uh, yeah, hey, it's yeah. okay. He won the last two, though, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 he has Oh, that's cool, yeah. yeah let's lost. look at totals. Yeah, he lost. Hey, it's okay. Let's look at... Th- Are you affluent? Uh, I guess I just bridged us into our next topic Jesus. by looking at... No, the no, you did page. not. I didn't? Coming back, we're, we'll be talking about affluence after this. Back on the pregame, that was uh, MKTO Classic. Song gets me sweaty. We haven't I'll played that one in a while, but we love it. I love it. it I think it got overplayed because we played it like 100 times a day for maybe like six weeks. However, I think we've given it enough breathing room, and it's ready to come back. Devin Moore, the um, person who's producing this for g TV, just yeah. actually informed us that we lost four viewers when Dan started singing. So I don't know what that means, but Dan, the viewers speak, I think. Yeah, the viewers are speaking. Dan, we talked about this. Dan thinks he's a great singer. That, okay, Dan. I'd never say great. I'm good. I'm gonna I'll be honest. I heard oh he hit a note God. the other night. I hit a note, guys. And I, he very much moved above you in the power rankings. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I like that. Screw you, Brandon. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot. But seriously, Dan, you got an interesting topic topic for us today about uh, TB love. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said TB love. <laughs> no, this is not tuberculosis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pete and I were talking the other day. Just randomly, as we talk about TV couples all the time, um, yeah. about who the best couple on TV was. I said yeah. we said Corey and Topanga, you know, from Boy oh, Meets World. They got through the drama of middle school, the drama of high school, <laughs> the drama of college. Right. You know. But that name though, Topanga. Topanga? Oh, I actually never thought that God. she was that good looking. No, I didn't think so. Either. She's not supposed to be. Is she? I don't know. I think they probably like picked someone like at age seven, and they were like, "She's gonna be great looking," and then she just didn't pan out. <laughs> They're like, damn it, we're too far into this. What are we gonna do? We can't give up now. Like then Batman, they switched the people. Like uh, what's her name after the first 
movie. Um, you know, they Rachel? added Maggie Rachel. Gyllenhaal because Rachel. um, what's her name? Uh, Katie Holmes wouldn't come back. Yeah, I don't think uh, it was because of her looks. Actually. Yeah, it's okay though. They killed Maggie Gyllenhaal, so that's all right. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Burned in the fire. Her right. brother look a lot alike, but he's an attractive man, and she is not an attractive all woman. Right, branded TV couple. Who is it? Okay, so I was brainstorming, and I'd have to go with. It's tough. It's tough. I'd, now, are we saying it's the best couple or the one that I enjoy? Brandon, do you think Bert and Ernie? <laughs> Brandon, oh, Brandon qualifies like four <laughs> questions before he, he ever weighs in. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to get oh, the best TV couple here. The Simpsons. No, I'd have to go with either Doug and Carrie from. What is the King of Queens? Yeah, the no, the Queens. best couple. They don't. Uh, they show yeah, they're they're show. Show. And then. Uh, that 70s show. You remember who you voted for. Donna, <laughs> Donna and Eric. I love them. They're funny. I'm going to go with... It's pure domination on I'm, Donna's part. I'm going to go with Jim and Pam from The Office. Oh, dude. The, the wedding oh, toast? Oof. I'm going to be honest. A little more. I, when, a when, he, when he's giving the toast at the uh, rehearsal dinner, I actually got a lump in my throat when he was talking. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, BuzzFeed has a list of the 50 best, and they named Lucy and Ricky. Yeah, uh, from I Love Lucy. Beyond the our time. They were married actually in real life, um, and on in the show wow. they were also married, but they got divorced eventually, and the show fell apart. <laughs> but apparently, Lucy However, Ball in interviews said that like they wouldn't have stayed together as long. Like it was so great for her to be able to go and have like that perfect marriage still like on set. So, like, it was almost like her real life, and she got some kind of satisfaction out of it, which is kind of sad. That's unreal amounts of depressing. But it's apparently true. They have Ross and Rachel, number two. I always kind of Ooh. found them a little bit no- annoying. Oh, I yeah. love Ross so and Rachel. Off and on again stuff. No, like, I love that. Figure it out. Yeah. I hate that crap. I, I hate figure it out at the end. I didn't know we were on a break. They we had, were on a break. <laughs> <laughs> they had Cory and Topanga, three. Ooh, I like that. Um, You know, there's a lot There's a lot of TV is, couples. Are Jim and Pam on there? Jim and Pam. I didn't even see oh, Yeah, they're, no, they're number Ooh, 12. They're number 12. Dude, I don't know. That, a lot of these are older ones, too. The Office, man, that show. Carol and Mike Brady are number 15. That guy's got an afro. Um, I like the, Zach uh, and Kelly from Saved by the Bell. Oh, that's another good one. Damn, that's good. Chuck and Larry. Oh. Monica and Chandler are 23. Uh, Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse and Becky. Oh, Full House, 26. Full House. Doug and Carrie uh, was 28. Marshall and Lily, I kind of find nah. them annoying. They're no, annoying. I love them. They're annoying. Were well, they met, like, what, the first week of college, Dan? Yeah, first week of college. Hmm. Oh, Ray and uh, Deborah from Everyone Loves Raven. Very nice. She's mean. She is a mean, mean woman. But he needs that. He's sloppy. He's like Dan. Well, I don't know what... I don't like that. Dan Dupree. needs to get... He's a little uh, bit Dupreed. What's that, Brandon? Can I say dominate on you the... You can't actually oh, whisper. No, oh, okay. that's ridiculous. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't want to say... Dan needs to be dominant. Will and Lisa from uh, Fresh Prince. I actually didn't really like them. She kind of came in at the end. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. Remember? And then he went uh, flying with uh, her dad, who was in the army or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. TV couples are an interesting thing. You ever just get too involved with a TV show? I think Pete's at a moment right yeah. now where he is far too invested in House of Cards. Right. He has changed his ringtone to the House of Cards. He has started talking randomly, like mm-hmm. Frank Underwood, the Congress, or now the Vice President. Sorry, spoiler alert. <laughs> no, that that happened at the <coughs> end of the first season. Yeah. Okay, so I'm allowed to say it if it's the yeah. past first season. Don't right. say anything else, though. No, I will not. They I'm have not. Sabrina and Harvey at 49 from uh, Sabrina and Teenage Witch. Super. I love that. I got it. I, uh. I got to say, I do. Yeah, that's something like my sister would watch, and I'd like. I really like that show. Sure. And you secretly liked it. Yeah. Oh, don't you put that on me. Dan didn't even have sisters to blame. So no, Dan, Greg Rush, Can you text it? Wasn't Dan's favorite movie for a long while? Legally Blonde one. Uh, he, he doesn't even text it. I said it was. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to prove <laughs> it. There's There's no need to prove we it. We are looking to hear from you. Um, what you think the best TV couple is, and then we'll Ooh. share those with everybody listening. Yeah. But you're sticking with Corey and Topanga? No, 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 no. I'm going with Jim and Pam. Okay. I have to. Final decision here? Doug and Carrie. I love Doug. I love mm. him. He's a man. He's getting slapped around. He's funny. It's good stuff. They're all right. I don't know. I like... Uh, they make me laugh. They make me laugh. And that's all I want. That's all I want. Who are you saying? I like Lucy and Ricky. Okay. I do. I don't, I don't know. How often How do you watch... Do you watch? Right. I watch I love Lucy a lot. And you guys... Uh, we were talking to Eddie earlier this morning initially when he met me in eighth grade, he thought that I only had uh, TV land because I would constantly talk about these old shows. And he was like the only person who in my school had also watched those. So, um, yeah, I don't know. That's how I, I got into it. 
Only t- so that you actually watch TV Land shows? Oh, like all the time, dude. Really? Yeah. Dude, I, Did I didn't parents not let you watch anything else, or was it no, that I, up out of choice? I like that. I like old movies, too. What's your favorite old movie? Charade? I don't know that one. Dude, I, I never watched Disney Channel as a kid, so I always felt like people were talking about these shows that I was not a part of. I never watched Disney Channel as a kid. I didn't purpose. like it, though. Darcy really says uh, Marshall and Lily are Jim and Pam. They are Jim and Pam? Or or Jim and Pam? What? Or Jim and Pam. Oh. Darcy, you need to choose. Choose one. Choose one. 60 seconds. Your, your life, your, your choice. choice. 60, 60 seconds. seconds. Oh, baby. Molly says Monica and Chandler. Nah. No, no, they no. suck. <laughs> they literally no, they... suck. <laughs> <laughs> Going right at it. Can I you say that? that? Yeah, you can say suck. Oh, okay. What? Well, okay. All right. Suck. Okay. Okay. Right. Why don't you relax? All right. Don't. A bit. Yeah. Jesus. Christ. Don't. You know, I'm gonna celebrate you it. <laughs> I'm gonna celebrate, I'm celebrate it, word. Frank. Celebrate the word. <laughs> um. Oh, now I don't know. They're okay though. But the problem is they're together, like, from season two. They're together, like, the whole time. Exactly. And to be honest with you, can she's I, a little neurotic. I don't like that. Can I give you a sleeper pick? Okay. Alice and Ralph crammed in from The Honeymooners. They would always get into these big debates. Mm. They, were, they were basically the original Doug and Carrie. This is from The Honeymooners, uh, like, old, old TV show. show. Yeah. I know. Um, and yeah, they were, like, the them and... He yeah. was always trying to get rich, but then blowing their money, and then they get into an argument, but then they make up at the end of every episode, and he would say, "Baby, you're the greatest." How about Jerry? <laughs> how about, how about every episode ended, and I loved it. Weird, weird pick. How about Jerry and Elaine? Oh, I, think, oh, I don't know. Good. They're good. How about Mike and Mike? That's coming from Greg Rostico. <laughs> I'm not sure what is that supposed to be like the radio? Yes, I think so. I think Pinky and the Brain are the best. That's just me though. Hmm. I like that. Batman and Robin. I like that. I mean, we're not talking about dynamic duos here. Okay. Well, it's funny if you think about them romantically. All right, boys, we're going to a song. We've been talking too long. Yeah, we have. All right, boys, we're back. As we know, recently the Princeton Review rankings came out for all the colleges for next year, or I guess for this past year. Yes. Um, Gettysburg, once again, was one of the top value colleges as mm-hmm. far as uh, education's wor- your, the worth of your education. 
which is which, tough which is to, great. Which is tough pill to swallow. Which is great. Six thousand dollars. No, I know, but Brent, that's the point is that you're going to be making mon- more money because of this education. Whatever. I think. Oh it's, God, I, I hope so. And all, I, and then the school made made a very big point of putting that on the homepage. The rankings that they did not put on the homepage, however, we were ranked number nineteen for <laughs> jock schools. We were ranked number eight for everyone plays intramural sports, which I find hard to believe. I don't and, see a lot of people play though. And the big one, yeah, was that we were ranked number one for the least race slash class interaction among students. So it doesn't mean that we we are not a diverse campus. It means that our different ethnic and socioeconomic groups are not intermingling. Now, does it count in socioeconomic things like that? I mean, that's what Factors? that's what class means. I okay, think. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So. I must not have been listening. Yeah. In the okay, past, yeah. we have been on the list as an as one of the least diverse schools. We're not on that list this year, but we now yeah. have moved from being not diverse to now being no class slash race interaction. What, I mean, do, you, what yeah, do you guys think about yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, what, how, I mean, you've had a few ideas of like what could be done to improve it as right. far yeah, as housing, things like is, that. I mean, this is kind of built into the system when you have these, you know, theme houses where people are like. Based around together, like Judaism based on or based around yeah. their belief, that's like yeah. ideas, how yeah. they identify. I think you're you're automatically removing and, and putting the student body into factions. Yeah, I mean, international. Just, I mean, you can look at it right now. We now. have we have international house for next year, which will be primarily international students and yeah. centered around that. Yeah, we have diaspora house, which is primarily um, African American students. Yeah. Um, which I did live there sophomore year. It was pretty fun. There you go. Um, but we, we, we have these houses that are really centered around people like-minded people living together. And I think I can see how, how that could reduce. I mean, the, I mean, uh, you don't know the like-minded, but I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, they're the same in some sort of descriptive way. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, clearly this, uh, the being number one in least race slash class interaction has negative connotations. But I mean, I guess I don't notice it as much, but you can see it. I mean, yeah. as far as international students go, like, I mean, we have actually a lot. I mean, knowing this from Res Life, Pete, the RA is coming in. Yeah, you notice how I didn't. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Brennan. <laughs> Dan is a new RA, okay. so that's nice. Don't touch me. Oh, do you touch me? But um, we have so many Chinese students coming in, students from China, and it seems as though I don't know. Right. Apparently, the population of international students doubled coming into this year, and they're looking to double it again next year. For right. example, we had 30 yeah. international students come this year. 20 were from China, so we do have a, a large it, international school, international population from China. But like so far away from home, it seems natural that they no, want to I mean, hang out with yeah, themselves, like, like only with themselves. You know what I mean? And I understand. It's like if you, it's like we I also. I had a uh, discussion with uh, Ashley Fernandez, who is like the house leader at uh, D house. D house. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I asked, you know, is, is it Houses like that are they inhibiting like interactions or are they facilitating them? And she said it's kind of up to the, you know who lives there. And right now, I don't think it's ideal. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think I just I, I feel like a lot like this kind of statistic puts the the burden on the the majority, like the majority of people, which I would say would be you know um, right. white middle or middle upper class students. Yeah. But I just I feel like this goes both ways because I think that well like everything like, I'm sure it does and yeah I, I just think that the right? interaction Absolutely. isn't happening and it's ha- not happening just because one direction it's both ways uh, I don't know I just think that a lot of times the the blame is sort of right thrust I also think on. what Ashley told me that kind of my ass a little bit is the experience is different for when you ask guys and girls apparently also the experience really? is different when uh, you ask someone who's on a sports team. Or yeah. someone who is engaged with people who you know don't they represent to, yeah. the overall population. Yeah. yeah. Or or do. Yeah. The, the international student thing, uh, it just makes sense. Like think about no, Brand- guess- Brandon. When you went abroad, would you say you hung out with primarily the students in your program who spoke English or yeah. no people most, who spoke Italian first? No, mostly Americans. I mean, no, the I only mean, like the <laughs> friends that I made that were Italian were from my host brother who would take me out. Yeah. And then I would meet them, and then I would see them around town and meet them. But like. You weren't necessary. You well, you would say the Sometimes. most of the time you hung out with people. Sometimes, who, right. like, unless I was traveling here, here and, you know, as life transforming as this abroad experience was, it wasn't college for four years. No, no, no. no which, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, it's true. It's true. But yeah, I, you'd hope that there'd be more, you know, and the culture shock interaction between different. four years, and they'd get 
you know, into the community. But I think if, if okay, people get involved, if people get involved, whether it be a sports team or you know, at, something on campus, Greek life. Greek life, any kind of organization that forces them to interact with people who may not yeah. be with them, then they're going to have that interaction. Yeah, exactly. And so right now with class, uh, one of the popular arguments you hear, and I don't know if this is true or not, we got we can debate this, but you know, it costs money to be in a frat. It's some money that some people don't just want to throw away to something like that. So I mean, I mean it's a decision that, that both of you made, right? So yeah. is that yeah. you know that inhibits interaction between certain classes because when you're in a fraternity, a lot of times those are the people you eat with, right? I mean, those are the people that you hang out yeah. with, yeah, party with, I mean, study with. It depends what, yeah. So that's automatically putting yeah. people apart. No, I just I I, yeah, and I think that you can't force like you can't force the the interaction. I think it just happens naturally, and like like Pete has said, with the getting involved is key, and I, and I think that. You know, even joining regular clubs, like whether it be like college Republicans, college Democrats, or, you know, whatever, inter, whatever international affairs or yeah, any exactly. club, like there are things you can do to meet people. And I think that people don't necessarily take that necessary step to join those clubs and things. And they just, they just like to sit in their room or hang out with their, the people that, they've, that they feel most comfortable with. And I think that we also have to look at where we're coming from as, you know, in most ways, part of the majority. Yeah. So no, is, there, is there something that we could do from this side or something that, uh, I guess, not really us specifically, but something that the system... I mean, I interact you with, yeah, like, six or seven international students on my floor on, like, a Exactly. Well, basis. we're RA, so it's a little bit different, but, yeah. Again, but it, you have to do something. Like, you, you sitting at home, yeah, yeah. you're not going to interact. Talking I think it, yeah. that goes on both sides. No, I absolutely... If you're having meetings uh, to discuss this and it's a meeting attended largely by the majority or the minority, that... It perpetuates what's happening. Certainly, yeah. certainly, absolutely. No, I agree. I don't know. I would just. I would have liked to seen uh, JMR's face when she read that we were. That's that little ranking we got. They she declined to comment for the Getty's version article. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> that's hilarious. No, what type of control does the school have? Over no, no. The but the version? college who owns the paper and, yeah, and okay. funds the paper didn't comment on the article that the paper was writing. That's ballsy. Suspicious. I like Suspicious it. Suspicious indeed. I like it. So the. Olympics are ending soon. Are you sad? Have you watched it all? Uh, I gotta be honest. The only thing I watched was the Figure uh, yeah. Was the, <laughs> no, no. Actually, it was the ice, no, it was the ice dancing. No Brandon. kidding. Oh my god. No. Uh, the only thing I watched <laughs> was um, <laughs> the uh, the hockey, the men's hockey, um, and of course we did lose pretty badly yesterday. And today in the bronze medal round, we lost five nothing to Finland. So oh, they just they probably just gave up sort of near the end. I'm sure. You think so? Gold or go home. As Ricky Bobby says, if you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't first, you're last. But currently, we are trailing Russia by two medals. God, I hate that. So we are we are in, in second place. We are leading Norway by one and trailing by two. So I'm not really sure what events are left or, and whether we'll, I was a little we'll catch them or not. But uh, yeah. I guess we'll figure it out. Okay, well, how important is it to you? Pete, you were sort of making fun of it. How important is it to you for us to be... The head medal getter as a country. Not important at all. There was a kid really? on my floor the other day who was like extremely depressed because USA lost to Canada. And I was like, Do you really think like the US lost today? Like, no, it's these 12 individuals that are randomly representing our country. They don't, it's not, it's, it's a sport. Like, it's a game, it's entertainment. But yeah, I'm not going to. I don't know. No yeah. legitimate connection to national I mean, pride. I mean, when that. Obama, when, when the president in the State of the Union address says that we're going there and we're bringing home gold. I kind of look at that in the same way as if you like your health care, you can keep it. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going to get some calls on that one. Good God. Yeah. that I mean, so that, I kind of knew going into it that we were going to lose because, of course, you <laughs> can't keep your health care if you want. I think after that comment, our whole discussion on race has been uh, yeah, no looked comment. at in a different oh. light now. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Okay. I don't care. I am who I am. I I'm not going to fight it. And we have a little song, Happy by Pharrell Williams. Let's do it. By the way, huh. because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a room. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Just fine. Yeah. No offense. 
friends to you, don't waste your time. Here's why. Because I'm happy. Come along if you feel like a room without room. Because I'm happy. Come along if you feel like happiness is truth. Because I'm happy. Come along if you know what happiness is to you. Because I'm happy. Come along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Hello, welcome back to 91.1 WZBD. Oh my god. Hello. Alright, couple things that uh, we have to share. What's Number up? one, YouTube. I think I did screw up there. Devin, our producer, actually gave me a heads up and I had to go to the bathroom, so I messed it up. YouTube has given us warnings now. YouTube, guys, we're no longer messing with the FCC. YouTube says that we cannot play this kind of music over the stream. It's cool with the campus radio, but it is not over the internet. So sure. we're going to have to press that mute button. Um, when we're doing songs, or we could talk through, we'll just, we'll deliberate here. So in order to listen to us, right, all of your sensory it would have things to be going on, the you audio. Have a radio and a right. So yes. maybe play the radio, just pull up the, uh, the YouTube at the same time. The YouTube, and put that puppy on mute. Yeah, you know, I want to talk to YouTube. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay. The other thing, I don't think they know who they're messing with. They can come. They can come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Couple other ones for the best couple. Um, Devin says it is the Doctor and Rose from Doctor Who. Hashtag repping sci-fi. Dude, Hashtag I also I, I, I got Doctor one. Um, Courtney sent in and said to consider Phil and Claire for Modern Family, or oh, too uptight. Or okay, or Cam and Mitch. Right. Okay. Who Adam, I think are Mitch hilarious. Is too uptight. And my resident Demi believes it is Daphne and Freddie. I think that's Scooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I've got some work oh to do. Oh my God, dude, it was true. Oh. Tangy was also oh. singing "Wicked." Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. All right. Another thing. Full transparency. It's the horrible. reason that we got this little camera thing for the stream, it was for Jillian. Okay. You know, some people, oh, parents, been, yeah. put like a little camera in the teddy bear to see what the nanny's doing. They call the nanny cam. Mm -hmm. You know, see what they're doing when they're gone. Yeah. We installed this because Jillian, she comes in once in a while. We just see her sitting over there. We wanted to monitor what she's doing, what kind of value she's bringing. What is she doing while we're looking forward into the microphone? And right. She's back. She's I mean, back there. We don't know. So I don't we like install that. this, and then huh, I'm just is saying. Is it a coincidence she doesn't show up or install this? I don't want to say coincidence, but I want to say, yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. So you don't want to say coincidence, coincidence, but you want to say, yeah. Do you know what yes. a coincidence is? <laughs> I think you're wrong. That is a that is a uh, quote from one of your classes. No, I know, but it's also a quote right now to you. You say you don't want to say it's a coincidence. It's a joke. I misspoke. 
Dan knows what that's like. Okay. Ooh, you put on one of my songs. You like it. You like it. I don't like you. I know. Yeah, I don't like you Jeez. either. Right All right, boys. Like Can't wait till next year. So. I know. Oh, oh my God. Shots fired. Hashtag cold hard truth. Hashtag real world. Hashtag. I don't know what I was going to say. Hashtag Jimmy Fallon Hashtag your and uh, your boy JT. JT last night. Or, was it Justin last night? Timberlake? Yeah, it was last night. He had him on. First of all, Jimmy Fallon, he's been having a good week. He's doing great. He's had some big guests. I'm not really sure why Will Smith was his guest the first night, but he did really well. His yeah. parents were in the crowd. It was kind of funny. Will Ferrell? Um, yeah, he had Michelle Obama came on. And last night, for, Friday, um, yeah. for the Friday night one, Justin Timberlake came on there. Seem to be great friends. Yeah, they're yes. always doing skits together, and I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seth Meyers starts on Monday. Yes. No, fill me, fill me in. What is Seth Meyers now doing? He is now doing the show that Jimmy Fallon once did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh. Seth Meyers is just okay. he's, yeah. So they're just kind of like moving up. It will. And yeah, Conan O'Brien still S O L. Yep. No. I'm, okay. He's doing fine. He he only has to work from Monday through Thursday. I don't understand how he could possibly even attempt to compete when he only competes four days a week. But yeah. I don't know, like he's got his little like Team Coco. Mm, yeah, on the yeah. People are obsessed Some with people his like hair. Yeah, I, I don't know. He, I, I honestly feel like he doesn't even try anymore. But who knows? No, he got that huge payout. He got paid not to be on the right. Tonight Show, and, and then, then he made was... that movie where he was like feeling sorry for himself. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. touring the country. He is getting that huge like buyout, like you said, yeah. and drawing a humongous crowd. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't feel sorry for Conan O'Brien and all those people who did. No. Also, did we talk about the Jay Leno saying goodbye? Uh, I don't know if we did. That was pretty sweet, though. Dude, I, I got a lump in my throat watching that. Did you get a lump in your throat everything? I don't know if that's... He got a lump in his throat while the lady was making a sandwich yesterday. Yeah, well, I mean, Dan does oh, have a gag reflex. So oh, knows? my God. Goo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No, I don't know. It was touching. It was very, okay, it was just very touching. I don't know. He was talking about how he lost, basically, his mom the first year he was doing the show yeah. and his dad the second year, and how he kind of was left stranded with no... With not really a, a, a man big, alone a big, with a microphone, a big family, and he, you know, the the people in the who worked for the show came became his family, and I don't know. I just yeah. thought it was really, it was nice. It was nice. Dan, are you a crier? No. All right, Gre Greg Rossico. If, if you put if you put Marley and me on, down. you put Marley and me on. I'll cry. I'll cry like a baby. When did you watch that movie? I did watch it in the in the library one time. Oh, oh my yeah, god, it was a good time. We were studying for an exam, I think. Yeah, we were studying for finals. As mm -hmm. far as the couples, Tana goes. Frank and Claire, which Ooh. by no means can you ever say they're the best couple. Wow, I I might have to jump on yeah. that. And mom, my mom goes, Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver, Beaver's parents. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Tower. I appreciate this. I think I think Claire and Frank, one hundred percent win the most powerful couple in television <laughs> history. Todd made an interesting point the other night that what power does Claire really have? Um, Beyond just okay. with Frank. Hold on, no, no. But did you watch the first episode where she literally? has her right-hand woman fire half the staff, yeah. and then she fires her for a non-profit. For a non-profit. Yeah, she has, non like... Non-profits do stuff. Yeah. That doesn't mean they do no no, no things. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no profit, they no just, things. They just sit there. Yeah, she I has, like, serious... Gov yeah, she has, like, big government influence. Nah. Yeah, no, no, the, the, the vice... You know, the, the vice president's wife has no influence anywhere. No. Nah. Okay. No. Nah. Jill Biden doesn't have any influence? Joe Biden. Real life. Jill. Oh, yeah, Jill. I, I'm joking. Joe Biden absolutely does. But before that, when there was a non-profit, what does she have? They're a powerful couple, though. But, uh, okay. Oh, look at right. like that. Well, all right. Brandon, I'm disgusted. Why don't can you, I say, why don't you just say that I am disgusted, disgusted by your entire theory on life? Yeah. My entire theory on life? Yeah. And I, I don't even think that's everything you do. Everything you do bothers me, Brandon. I don't think there's one thing you do or I appreciate I approve of. Not one thing. Not one. I would say no. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm kidding. Boys, springtime is coming. Spring break is in Birds two weeks. Out. Believe it or not, this first this sec this semester has been flying by. I don't think I've done as much work as I thought I was going to be doing in the first or, five weeks. Or is is expected. <laughs> <laughs> or is expected. Yeah. yeah. Your professors are waiting on some stuff. I think. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, so we got two weeks left, probably got a lot coming up. I know I got two, two tests this week coming up, two tests the next week, mm -hmm. a lot of homework. Spring I got a break though. Yeah. You got a nice. paper due tonight. I have a paper due tonight, I have a paper due tomorrow, and then I won't be on the pregame next week. Nah, why? Yeah, I'm going to the city. Um. New York City. Madison Empire. Square Garden, little tennis event. There you go. There yeah. you go. Um, but yeah, boy, boy, spring break, what do we got going on? 
Pete, what's your spring break looking spring like? Spring break, uh, I have you a wedding. wedding to go to. Yeah, my cousin is getting married in yeah. Albany. Cool. Question. Shoot. Go right ahead and shoot. I don't know if I should. Okay. Should I? No, I okay. don't. I think I, I know what you're going to say, and I would just I prefer ahead. you not to say Who's who the wedding for? My cousin. Okay. Weddings are fun. Weddings, weddings are, are a really blast. Fun. I had, like, because I was always younger when I had, like, there was two what? weddings when I was younger for my uncles, and then when my cousin, my two cousins got married, freshman year of college. Cool. Great time. Cool. What were you so, going to ask? So back to spring I break. I think everyone's curious now. Everyone's <laughs> curious? I'm just wondering if you're bringing a date, that's all. That's, I don't know exactly oh, I didn't, I don't know what, I don't know what age is that. That's cool. What? It's just not. I mean, it's not up to him. Line. It's not like if if he got invited and guessed. But when is that? When is that a thing? There's so many things in my life. I don't, I don't know. know. When it, is it? Well, I think it, it, it depends on the people. The cost of the wedding, how much they're willing to spend. Is everyone bringing a guest or is yeah. it just family? Or I mean, weddings are so. I expensive. think once you get to the point of like you're married, that person is automatically invited. I think well. once you're out of college, it's if you don't invite them with a guest, it's maybe not that great. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. I was curious. Yeah, Brandon. What, do you, what are you doing for spring break? Well, boys, you got big plans. I am going to Rome. Yes, I'll be Brandon going to Rome. He's literally milking Gettysburg College for all he can, and it's awesome. It's great. It's great. It's great. No, I'll be going to Rome with one of my Italian classes. So we'll be we'll be going all around, touring and stuff. Who knows? Cool. I mean, I've seen Rome, and to be honest with you, it's like probably my one of my least favorite Italian oh my cities. God, Brandon literally saying Rome. that a historic city in the world is is not that cool. No, it's too touristy. There's so many things, but. You want to go for the song? What do we got? Uh, no, 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 we don't. No. You want to pick up the call? Okay. We've got a caller coming in. We want to have Brandon scream yeah. it. Yellow. And now you can see, uh, if you're watching, you get this yeah. little behind the scenes thing. Brandon talking into this phone. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got Greg Rustic. Oh, on baby, we Greg got Greg. Rustic. How do we do this? Uh, tell him to call back. Okay, call back, sir. Call back. Greg's going to call back. This is Dan's bro. Oh, well, Greg's calling back. My spring break is probably the worst. Um, although I am going home, which is awesome. I unfortunately have oh, to get yeah. three cavities filled in the city, um, but I'll get back to that. Okay, let's see how this works. All right, um, hold on. Greg, should, Greg, are you on there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, he's here, baby. We're cranking the volume. We're, say something. Greg Rustico, welcome to the pregame, buddy. Welcome back. Dude, this is an honor. It's been too long. Absolutely. How's life in Virginia, buddy? First time, long time. First time, long time. First time, long time listener. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. So I'm, I'm calling in uh, with, a, with a little bit of uh, a question here. Okay. First of all, I'm getting some serious echoing on the phone, but that's all right. Uh, you got to turn your radio off, Greg. Please turn your radio off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm getting echo over the phone, all right? I'm not an idiot. Okay. All right, Greg. Deal with it, buddy. All right, so, okay, so here's the, here's the here's the situation. So, older brother Tim went and saw Wicked Play on Broadway. Oh. Dude, dude went nuts for it, okay? <laughs> Dupree just starts opening up, just the floodgates open with praise for, for musical, the Wicked, Wicked the musical. And I'm just wondering how we feel about that. I mean, is there is there a real man rule? Greg, I have a history in show tunes. <laughs> <laughs> I think a real man can maybe like appreciate a musical from that now and again, but like I find out that Dan's been watching like clips of Anna Kendrick. Oh my like, god! And Christian Chalice, they're phenomenal, Greg. <laughs> Greg, I, I would just like to point out, Greg, uh, I, I have a Greg, I have a question for you, and I would just like you to answer um, as, as honestly as you know. Wh between me and you, which one is a thespian? Wait, say that again. Wh which one of us is a thespian? Which would be. Yeah, that'd be me. Oh, okay. Okay, just making sure. Um, that, that was just uh, you know, for those who don't know, the thespians are the group of uh, actors, and Greg is part of that. They know the word. They How's Greg in that? Uh, he did some stuff in high school and he joined. I will say, Greg, I do have a a career in acting. Um, uh, you know, I, I was I was the star of a fifth grade show. In case you didn't know, but you know, just saying. I'm gonna be honest. I I'm gonna have to agree with Greg on this one. All right. I, do not I don't understand what damage. constitutes a real man, guys. I really don't. A more, a more pointed question I have, actually, because I don't want to rip on musicals, because they're actually, I think a real man can appreciate a musical. Okay. My question was, so everyone knows the song For Good from, from Wicked? Yeah. And I think, no. it's become, <laughs> I think it's become, like, the most cliche graduation song. Even if you don't think you know it, you do. It's the one like, I can't say if I've been changed for the better, blah, blah, blah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I, I know. I think it's, Actually, I'd like to hear Dan sing on the air in just a moment. Oh, no. I'm okay. Dan. I've been changed for good. Like, 
you know Good Riddance by Green Day. That's yeah. like the other song. So I, I want you guys, I'm going to get off the line. I want you guys to discuss some of the more cliched songs out there. Just like the Ooh. song that you hear and it's just like, oh, wow, really uncreative. You got it, Greg. All right, buddy. I love you. Later. <laughs> what about that vitamin C song? You know what I'm talking about? Which one's that? It's like, you know what I'm talking about. It's the like the goodbye song. No, I don't know. Oh, what I is have that? no idea. What I got one thing God, to say though. I used to be a star in you know. in acting. Okay, and Greg was a big fan of my plays. Yeah. So you know, just saying. Oh, I'll say. I think the song "Happy Birthday" is cliched. I think we got to move on from that, buddy. Yeah. Literally every single year. I also feel joke. extremely strange. I know Brandon, you shared this fear. When I someone is singing "Happy Birthday" to us, we don't what know do how you to do? act. What do you do? What do you, why do we continue this? Everyone's uncomfortable. I hate it. I swear to God, yeah. I, would ra- I don't think everyone is uncomfortable though, which is weird. I think they are. If you're not uncomfortable, text in. Exactly. Boys, I'm going to my first drama ever on Broadway over spring break, and I'm pretty stoked for it. Um, it is, it is not. A, there's no singing, so you know we'll see. I'm really? going to see Waiting for Goodell. It's a good, it's a good play. I read, I read it. I gave you the copy. Have you read it yet? I have not. I think I might read it um, on the way there or something. No, well, I'm not going until Saturday of spring break, so I'm going to read it during the week. Is Courtney going to read it too? No. And like I said, I am nope. going to the city to get three cavities filled, and I would like to give a big shout out to Dave Rustico who is 31 years old and got his first cavity today, and I could not be more happy for you, Dave. Um, we got a question on all of your Rustico d- I, dental examinations up until this point. Yeah, Everyone seems to be popping up with cavities. Dental. I don't want to call out anyone, but I, as soon as I, the dentist no. change, there's like eight cavities. I'm, no, I'm just saying. It's my cousin. He's just trying to milk us for all the money we will give him. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. God. You know, but... Do you have to pay your cousin? Yeah. How does that work? Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, okay. he's... I mean, probably insurance. Well, there's insurance, yeah, but we're not, we, I don't know. We pay him. Okay. But I'm just saying, I got two filled. I'm getting three more. Dave, I'm glad you joined the club. Make sure you floss every day. <laughs> you have cavities? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so. I went the last, like, three times, and I haven't had cavities. I'm very proud of myself. Did you have cavities before? Did you have a history of cavities? Do you have a prior history of cavities? <laughs> is, is that your on family the, is that on the form? <laughs> That's on the form. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, you know. back on the pregame, Dan Rustico, Brandon Tower, Pete Barrett. Uh, Demi, mm-hmm. my resident, wants to know, Dan and Brandon, have you seen Frozen? 
No, I, heard, I want excellent. to though. I heard it's absolutely excellent. Yeah. Also, there was this like local weatherman. I don't know if you've seen it. It was on BuzzFeed today. No. He did the weather report in a parody of a song from Frozen. You guys should check it out if you haven't seen it. Very entertaining stuff. I feel like every once in a while now, these like random news like outlets in like the middle of the country are breaking out on YouTube with the with these cool stuff. I like it a lot. Or mess ups. I like that better. Why? Thank you. What? You like the mess ups better than the successes? I mean, a, a news mess up. Dude, yes, I absolutely. love that. They're hilarious. Right, uh, but the bloopers are funny. The bloopers think, are good. I mean, but I don't. I think they pale in comparison to like an actual talent. What about the one where have you seen the one where the hamster pops up instead of like the the criminal? No, nope. I love that. How about the one? Yeah. <laughs> How about the one revealing the new Chicago Cubs mascot? <laughs> <laughs> you should check it out. <laughs> Not in the library. Or no, please check out the one where the woman's talking about the uh, the mailman. That's okay, that's say. pretty vague. That's, that's yeah, all I'll say. If you look up news and woman mailman, I'm sure it'll come up. <laughs> Boys, I got a question in Nothing. from my brother. If you got offered cash or a big wedding from your parents, which would you choose? So we'll go ahead and say um, my cousin had a wedding. It was probably about $100,000. Give me a situation. Yeah, what do you mean? So if, if your parents, let's say half of that. If your parents said, all right, we're going to, we're going to spend $50,000 on your wedding. Jeez. Um, or... We'll just give you the cash. Which would you take? $50,000? I feel weird taking $50,000 from my parents. I, I don't think... Maybe, well, you, maybe about, you don't understand how expensive weddings are. Do they pay it off for college? Are. What? Yeah, they do. do you, fair enough. Do you, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Mom and Dad. <laughs> like, what, I mean, weddings are that expensive. <laughs> Fifty thousand. I'm just trying to respect Carl Tower. Yeah, dude. One hundred percent. And your mom, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Weddings, <laughs> weddings are very expensive. The average cost of a wedding is uh, twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. Boo! So yeah. that's average. So we'll say we'll yeah, go with that. how much. Yeah, twenty-five thousand, Brandon. They are, the, yeah. The um, upper, you also have to factor in how much you're going to get in gifts. So you you will you get that amount versus just getting the cash? What do you think? But, I mean, to be honest with you, aren't you going to have to pay that money anyway for the wedding? So, isn't it kind of a wash? No, I think the idea is that you... you do you have you, a smaller wedding? Yeah, you have, like, a just a very small wedding with a know. few people. You got to do what the wife wants. Uh, okay, uh, whatever. Okay. Well, what uh, do you think? I'm going to say that... Uh, oh, yeah, we'll let Pico first. I don't, know, I don't have, like, a... Yeah. Oh, all right, we get it. You, like, an ideal wedding. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think... Got to make the lady happy. Yeah. It's In a church, it shouldn't cost that much. And then the reception, I feel like... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be pretty average. Yeah. I wouldn't want like a blowout. I don't even know that many people. I don't know. I don't. Even, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know I where would, this money would go. I think I would me. just literally have like twenty people and do it real small and then take the money. But how many people are you going to offend, though? Yeah, that's what. There's this big. No, but like you, you, you make a line. So like, listen, my aunt um, is getting married, and this is her second marriage later in life, and um, she's actually getting married on a Monday because it's like the twentieth anniversary of when she first met. Yeah. Um, okay. My uh, my uncle. And she, this I has literally not, become the and, Rustico radio and, show. And I am not invited yeah, with a family tree. <laughs> I and, know, uh, I know. And mm -hmm. I'm not invited to the wedding, but like I'm not offended because she cut it off where none of the cousins are invited huh. because of cost. I don't know. It's yeah. very. It could be very easy to cut that off. That makes sense. A question. Yes. You're religious. You're religious. I'm not as religious. Do hold on. Just do what you guys. Just say, I don't think that's just, just say any you're not religious. Okay, I'm not religious. How about you know? As okay, in, fair enough, fair enough, okay. fair enough. Would you, is it important to you guys to get married in church? No. Yeah, but I'm not really thinking about marriage right now. I don't know. No, I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying, is it important? No, it is not. Okay. I, you know where I want to get married? On the yeah, beach probably. in North Carolina. On Sunset Beach. Where in North Carolina? Sunset Beach is where my family always goes. Ah, that's nice. I don't know. But like you said, it all depends on who. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I would rather take, take the money, though. That's, that's what I'll say. Put it toward. Dude, you can put that towards a house. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. We're, we're well off that. We got to start making money first and doing things like that. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Good God. Good God. Whew. Guys, uh, last bit of news: uh, the Facebook acquisition of WhatsApp. Any thoughts? Nineteen billion dollars. It was pretty big. I took the tech industry this week. Yeah. We'll let Brandon go first because he doesn't know about this. So. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, no, I, I haven't read about it, but like, I don't know. Apparently, WhatsApp is like an, a Viber sort of thing. Okay. Like a, it's a similar app as Viber. Okay. Viber. Well, for those of you who don't know sure. what Viber yeah, is, it's a texting app. It is just texting. It's only texting. And yes. you can do a little voice message. You can do voice like. messages. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of money. It's worldwide. It's a lot of money. But like you said, that they're so ideologically opposed to having 
ads on their site or what what have you yeah. on their program. So how is Facebook going to make any money from this? There has to be some sort of idea, as we talked about, for them to right. profit from and it. As of now, Facebook apparently has no plans to integrate it into Facebook at all. So what are they doing? I don't know. Well, right now, I think what Facebook's strategy is is to buy other platforms where there are people. So interacting. There's 425 million people who have are actively using WhatsApp. Uh, they got Instagram for a similar thing. Yeah. So may, while these companies may not be making money yet, they own where the people are, and I think that's a good position to be in. Not Snapchat. Right. Well, they got shut down. Well, yeah. I mean, well, who knows what's on Snapchat's agenda for for the future? They got to start doing something. Right. And Snapchat was only offered three billion, whereas WhatsApp was 19. offered nineteen. So it's incredible because I never even heard of WhatsApp until this thing. Yeah. Which I, I had. I, I, I only. Guy, but... I saw an international student using it here, and I, that's the only reason, the only exposure I had to it. Yeah, but right. 425 million people. That's a lot of people. Yeah. What I don't know. Snapchat? I'd like to see what they're gonna do with it. Yeah, like you said, with the no ads and things like that. I, I don't know. I'll probably get it when I when I go to Kenya or something if I don't have any. Get Viber, dude. It's killer. I, I don't know. I've never actually even heard of that. Viber? Yeah. I don't know. It's got a purple little symbol. It's great. I love it. I love it. But. We would like to thank you for coming, listening, watching, for those of you watching on the video. <laughs> and that is an ad. However, thank you. It's been a wonderful night. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Seven eight. Brandon, what are you doing? <laughs> Brandon, I have you're no idea. I do not understand the computer. Yes, Brandon is technologically inept. Very much so. Very much so. All I know is I heard Taylor Swift and I knew to wrap it up. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Have a good night. Night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh 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 uh. Damn it. We can't talk any more about marriage like in 2014. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm not the one who keeps bringing it up. You did bring it up. You did. I asked a question about a very real topic that we had a discussion about last night. It's not real. It should not be real. Marriage? Real. Right now. Marriage is real. What are you saying? Which one? I'm 22. How did, what was the highest viewer? Tell. Do you know, Devin?